HCTV spoke with Hoboken Housing Authority Executive Director Carmelo Garcia, also the Assemblyman of the 33rd District, on Thursday so we could address allegations put forth by HHA Chairwoman Data Weaver last week. Last week, the Chairwoman of the Housing Authority, Data Weaver, she gave an interview making some allegations that because two vendors of the Housing Authority contributed to your assembly campaign, that there was a impropriety, as she calls it. So I'm sure you would like to address that now that we have you here. Thank you for the opportunity to respond. I think that, you know, clearly there is no malfeasance or impropriety. Uh, there was no prohibition on any vendors who basically contribute to any state legislator throughout the state of New Jersey. Uh, one thing has nothing to do with the other. It's completely irrelevant. The reality is that when it comes to the welfare, health, and safety of my residents, it is my res full responsibility to uh, respond properly and ensure that the imminent danger is abated. And we have been working with those contractors prior to anything of what was brought up uh, recently, the reality is that one of them, Housing Brothers, have won a sealed bid contract. What she was saying in the interview, and she also mentioned at the last meeting, one of her issues was she believes that no bid contract should only go out in a housing authority in a life or death type of situation. So, what would you like to say in reference to that? We did have life or death situations. The reality is that when you look at these photos and you have corrosion being built in the panels, when you have these boilers that go out and you don't have any heat or you don't have any hot water because the hot water heaters now have also developed corrosion, the fact of the matter is that we're going to do everything within our powers to make sure that that imminent danger is abated, that in fact that the residents are safe and that the health is our number one priority. The hurricane uh, was about 19 to 20 months ago at this point. So, of course, the first 6 to 12, uh, maybe 14 months, you would expect still a lot of aftermath, a lot of uh, things to still repair, still to deal with. So, could you just tell us what we're still dealing, dealing with about, uh, again, 19 to 20 months uh, after this unfortunate event? Well, you have the salt water corrosion, which is an element that, quite frankly, is uncontrollable. And we have 52 buildings. It's not like we're dealing with just simply, you know, one building, two buildings. You're talking about 52 buildings. And then you're talking about having to shut down a building in order to transfer and replace that new panel. Mr. Garcia, one last question on this topic. Now, she was, uh, by she, of course, I mean Ms. Weaver, was also uh, asking you about some of the house or brothers at Haddad Electric Bills at the meeting, and you said you wanted to speak with your personal attorney before you responded. So at this point, could you give us any clarity what you were referencing there? I was speaking about the fact that in the past, for the last year and a half, it has been a tumultuous, ongoing event. One had nothing to do with the other. I was referencing the fact that when Commissioner Mello and as well as now the Chairwoman uh, Weefo was asking me about, you know, Hauser and her dad, I wanted to, I was referencing pretty much what I've been undergoing in the last year and a half with the harassment, with the retaliation, with the excessive kind of just continuous inundation of, of, of the situation. Uh It'd be safe to say that you didn't want to talk about that subject at a moment's notice because you have a pending lawsuit against the Housing Authority and the mayor of Hoboken? That's correct, yes, John. And that's what it boiled down to. I'm glad that uh, we're going in this direction because I also wanted to ask you about the default judgment uh, in the Hudson County Superior Court last week on that topic. Apparently, I was informed that the city had failed, the mayor uh, had failed to basically respond to the complaint that was issued and the judge found that they failed to respect or follow the, the court's rules and issued a default judgment, which was a wonderful victory, um, whether it's short-lived or whether, whether it stands, and I've been praying that, you know, I can put this behind me. Gerald Covatton, who's one of the people that's representing Hoboken in this lawsuit, he made some allegations that your attorney, Louis Zayas, he did uh, something improper here, and he's calling for sanctions. He's basically saying, the same lawsuit was filed in front of two judges at the same court. So have you heard anything further on that? Not at all. The reality is that the truth will prevail. And I, I don't know anything about what uh, that gentleman is speaking of. Uh, the reality is that my lawyer you know, has an outstanding uh, credentials. And I believe that you know, he will, again, show that there is no... Uh, that nothing was done in violation of the court's rules. And just a final point, uh, so you have no upcoming court dates related to this matter? 
to my knowledge at this point, you know what, I've left everything in my lawyer's hands and in God's hands. I'm just uh, praying that everything just comes out, you know, accordingly in the best outcome for me, my family, and for this uh, agency. Abjad Haidis, Patsakowdy TV, Hoboken.